Hey guys, Vincent here and this is how to remove and disassemble a dry sea needle rifle bolt. This will be a simple how to do video because I got asked to show how to remove the bolt from a dry sea rifle. There will be no contextual history about the dry sea rifle because this is a topic for another video. So I am very sorry if some of you guys are not interested in dry sea rifles, but I promise I will make it up to you and my next video will be about Sobek bayonets in Prussian or Imperial German service. To put it very simply, there are two different versions of the dry sea bolt. First, the infantry variants, the M41, M60 and M62, and second, every other Prussian dry sea rifle. I will always show you everything with an infantry rifle first, and then with one of the other rifles. Alright, let's start. Before we remove the bolt, I want to show you how to remove the needle itself. Open the bolt and safety check your rifle. Close it, cock it, and then you can simply unscrew the needle. To reinstall the old needle or use a new one, just put it back in, screw it tight, press the little metal catch from the cocking spring on top of the bolt and let everything slide very slowly forwards all the way. The steps are the same for every Jägerbüchse, Carbine or Pioneer rifle. They just use a shortened version of the infantry bolt and therefore the needle sticks out a lot further than the one from the infantry. And yes, the needle of my Jägerbüchse M65 is broken. Now let's go to the bolt removal. If you want to remove the whole bolt, you need the inner bolt assembly stick as far out as it will go. Then pull the trigger and you can remove the whole bolt. It can sometimes surprise people how far you have to pull the trigger to bring the sear down all the way. And the same goes for every non-infantry rifle. If you have a Jägerbüchse M65 with these set triggers, just pull the front trigger and ignore the set trigger. So here's a picture I made with all the technical terms so you know what I am talking about while disassembling the bolt. At this point I want to thank my fellow YouTuber Leo for helping me with the English technical terms. He runs a channel about historic firearms together with his brother and they have some really nice video with pretty rare guns. Check them out, link is in the description. Alright, let's start disassembling the bolt. First you need to rotate the inner assembly so the cocking spring aligns with the small cutout in the bolt. Then press the cocking spring and gently remove the inner assembly. Be careful not to break the long and thin needle. The next step is only for the rifles with the back modification. If your bolt head looks like the one on the right, ignore the next step. If your rifle was updated with the gas seal system, then you need to unscrew the little screw on the bolt head and then you can take out the sliding piece. Ok, back to the inner assembly. Take a flathead screwdriver and very carefully compress the needle bolt enough until you can remove the cocking spring from the top part of the locking catch. Then let the needle bolt come forwards until there is no more pressure from the spring and now you are able to disassemble the rest. Simply unscrew the needle from the needle bolt and there you have it, a completely disassembled dry sea bolt. Reassemble a dry sea bolt is just every step we just took together in reversed order. Nothing too complicated here. 
Just be extra careful when pushing the needle bolt back into the locking catch because if you let go of it, you will have a very pointy sharp needle flying through the air. When inserting the assembled inner parts into the bolt itself, you need to make sure that the needle is running through the needle guide in the bolt head. Then align the cocking spring with the cutout in the bolt. After assembly, you have to line up the two slots to the sear so it can engage correctly with the needle bolt. Put the whole thing back into the rifle and press the trigger. If everything was done correctly, the locking catch will be straight and point upwards, with the bolt head still in its left unlocked position. Now you can lock the bolt to the right, slightly press the trigger and push the inner assembly forward without cocking the gun. When it comes to the Jägerbüchse, carbines and Pioneer rifles, everything works the same way as it does with the infantry rifle. Some parts just look a bit different and are generally smaller. Again, please be careful with the needle. And before someone can ask this question, I personally would not recommend removing the needle first and then disassemble the bolt. The needle is needed as a guide rod for the spring. Alright guys, this was how to remove and disassemble a tricep bolt. I hope I explained everything clear to you, but if you still have some questions about the tricep bolt or anything else regarding Prussian and Imperial German weaponry, feel free to ask me or send me a mail. Thank you all so much for watching. If you see it fit, please leave a like or dislike. And now all I have left is, I will see you guys in the next video.